Hi everyone, uh, Ryan McLeod, a uh, family doc from uh, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Um, this is my second YouTube video. Um, as I said in my first video, I started this channel um, hoping to sort of pass along uh, some of the knowledge that I've learned in my productivity uh, journey, uh, going from totally stressed out, burnt out family doc to slightly less stressed out, burnt out family doc, <laughs> going from barely hanging on to doing, doing a bit better. Uh, things are always challenging. There's always new curveballs that are being thrown at us. Um, but I think if we have certain concepts down, uh, certain ideas of productivity, it uh, allows us to be a lot more um, flexible in terms of how we respond to crises and how we deal with issues that come up that affect us and our patients and the community as a whole. So again, like I said, uh, I am um, trying to make these videos to educate people, hopefully help out as many docs and nurses, surgeons, uh, psychologists, psychiatrists, whoever else can find benefit from my videos um, to work smarter, not harder, um, and take some time to uh, take care of yourself. Uh, go to the spa, um, work out, get enough sleep, always a challenge, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so if you like the idea of uh, this, then um, you know hit that like button, um, comment down below if there's any topics or any suggestions that you have uh, to uh, make better videos in the future. Um, I am, like I said before, I'm going to try to um, do something different with each video if I can, if I have the time, just to try and improve the quality of videos as things go along. So. First video maybe won't be super high quality, hoping this one will be a bit better and the next one will be a bit better. Sort of ties in it, you know, just little teeny tiny improvements each video and hopefully get to the point where, we, you know, we can, as I say, achieve excellence and, uh, you know, uh, produce high quality content for you guys to hopefully give you value and help you out in your practice. So anyway, um, the topic of this video, uh, as I figured I'd give you guys something that I think uh, would provide the most benefit for you is uh, stamps. Uh, stamps are templates um, for common um, medical, um, you know, medical problems that you come up with, uh, low back pain, your common cough and cold, headache. Um, you know, I do highly recommend that if there's something that you're seeing quite often and you're writing down the exact same thing every single time, uh, producing a stamp where you can say, you know, like uh, for pain, you know, how long has it been going on? Where's where's the pain? Um, what makes it better or worse? And you can put little colons to kind of tab to uh, each of these things so that you don't, so that you can just tab to it and you can write in your comments as you go along. And it really does help save a lot of time. So uh, sort of like how a reporter would go about this, I, I had the who's, what's, where, when's, why, and how's uh, for stamps. So who does this apply to? Uh, it could apply for d physicians, doctors, nurses, uh, surgeons, uh, anyone else who has to do sort of repetitive work over and over again uh, and has to document it. So if you have sort of the same stamp and you go through like does, you know, uh, how long has the pain going been going on for? Two weeks. Where does it hurt? Um, you know, uh, the... Uh, distal phalanges of the right hand, um, what makes it better, what makes it worse, uh, and you can just fill that in every time. That, that can be very helpful. Um, what is this? These are preset templates that you uh, have inside of your system and you can very easily access and put into the file when you see a patient um, in order to um, basically generate the, uh, a very high quality note uh, very consistently time and time again. Uh, where would you use this? Uh, ideally, uh, in your office with a the EMR uh, ready, but you know, even when I'm on call, um, if I have a patient, I don't have their medical chart in the EMR, I have a little printout note for coughs and colds, because I'd say about 70 to 90 percent of the patients I see um, in on call are upper respiratory tract infections, right? So if I have that and I can just write yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, or YN, 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 that goes a long way to uh, keeping me on track. You know, some some days I'm seeing 40 people on call, right? And if I had to write that out every single time, I, I did it once <laughs> and it did not go well. And after that, I produced these things and it's gone so much smoother ever since. 
Uh, when can you use it? Anytime, I would say. Um, you know, whenever it will save time, I would recommend using them as much as possible. Uh, and you know, it doesn't necessarily need to be medical presentations. You know, I have templates that I send to my nurses. Basically, if their cholesterol, their LDL is too high, please let the patient know LDL is too high. Uh, have them do these lifestyle uh, things and uh, repeat the blood work in three months, right? Patient has osteoarthritis. Uh, treatment is resting, icing, physio, um, may consider joint injections down the road if that doesn't work or maybe a uh, knee replacement. So if I'm typing out the same thing over and over again, instead of taking 30 seconds or five minutes to type that out every single time, you can uh, have a stamp. Usually it's a couple keystrokes. Uh, in practice solutions, you write the first three letters of the name of the stamp, hit control I, and it usually just generates it. So it saves you a whole lot of time, definitely. Um, why would you do this? Like I said, it would save, it's going to save you a lot of time. It's going to help you cons uh, produce consistent notes uh, that are the same every single time. Hopefully, um, hopefully they will be quite um, logical. Sometimes some people have uh, things where it's just it's it's very verbose and there's a lot of stuff in it, and it's often hard to read. So you want to try to keep it as as concise as possible so that if someone else does need to read it in the future, it's very easy to see what's going on with the patient or if you're sending it off to um, to someone, then it can be very helpful. And I know a lot of people probably use these stamps um, already, but uh, if you use them, great. If you don't use them, um, then you should probably definitely start. Um, if you use them, but maybe they could be improved, you can always work on improving them too, which is really helpful. Uh, the other things that I find are really quite quite helpful again like I said if you're typing the same thing over and over again it takes you five minutes or 30 seconds or two minutes each time if you can just produce it like that or produce it like that and then just run through it and answer the questions that's gonna go from five minutes to like 20 seconds or it's gonna go from two minutes to maybe two or three seconds right and then you can spend your time doing other things too like working on more important higher level tasks or maybe even uh, you know going for a jog at the end of the day which I always highly recommend if you're able to um, you can, the other thing that can be really helpful is, you know, I'm sure we've all been in the, in, in the situation where you're taking a history and someone interrupts you, either the patient asks you a question completely unrelated or someone knocks on your door or you get a phone call, um, and you get back and you can't remember where you were, what questions you asked. So with this, it's very easy to look back and say, I was right here. I asked these questions. I didn't ask these questions and get you back on track, right? There's a million and one distractions in, in medicine. And we'll talk about that in a later video, um, how to deal with those distractions and improve things. But um, for now, I'll just touch on that a little bit. Um, they're also very easy to change and modify. Oftentimes, like especially in practice solutions, you can go into change stamps and you can go in and modify them pretty easily. You can copy paste them and paste them into new stamps if you need to. For instance, with the beginning of the pandemic, it was a huge shock to go completely from all in office to almost all on the phone. Um, but I basically modified my stamps, um, you know, especially the upper respiratory tract infection stamps. I sort of copy pasted what I had there. I sort of modified it to improve uh, it for being on the phone and uh, making it easier for that. And that was quite helpful too. And, and I even had like a, you know, a little phone stamp where it had that, the blurb that we're supposed to tell people, you know, we can't examine you in person. And, uh, you know, we're supposed to let you know, maybe someone could listen in and get some of your health information about who, why and what they get from it. I don't know, but we're supposed to let you know. So, so I would have that there. So we would just, just, I would just populate it for each thing and then put this put the other stamp in between it to sort of uh, get that done there so um how do you do this um now again i've not created stamps for things like oscar or acuro uh, i think acuro has their own stamps i don't know how comprehensive it is uh it's always nice if you can go through and modify it to your liking um but i don't know if that's always the case uh, in the states in other places, I don't know what kind of EMR you guys are using, but most EMRs worth their salt are going to have this as an option. So I definitely spend a little bit of time looking into how you can create your own stamps. Um, and I think it's going to, you know, that half an hour that you spend creating your first stamps and getting used to it, I think is going to really pay off dividends in the future. Um, 
So that is the how. Um, one one um, piece of advice that I have is find out what sort of um, characters you need to tab uh, to different words. So for instance, in, in practice solutions, if you put colons at the end of a word, you can tab to it. So, uh, you know, if you're doing like the, the fold cars for pain, frequency, onset, location, duration, character, aggravating, relieving, uh, other symptoms, you can put a little colon at the end and you can sort of tab to each one and just put in what you need to do as you go along, uh, which is really quite helpful. Um, in terms of how to produce it, another option is that, uh, you know, um, like I said in my first video, if there's enough interest of people who maybe want my stamps as a starting point or to go with, um, I could make my stamps um, available uh, for purchase on Etsy if that's something that people want. So if that is something that you want, um, comment down below in the comments. If you find this useful, um, hit that like button. Uh, comment on, on any topics or any issues that you maybe would like me to make a future video on, uh, giving my insight. Uh, you know, again, I'm a family doc, so I can't comment on all aspects of medicine, nursing, healthcare. Um, but if I can give some pointers that might be helpful, um, you know, I'll, I'll do my best to do so. So anyway, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this long. Um, and I wish you the best. Have a good one.